Hello everyone and welcome back. So last Monday I've left you with a question on the fundamentals of metal casting, in particular regarding the fluid flow. I hope that by now you have all attempted to solve the question. If not, I will try to guide you step by step through the solutions for this question uh, using some of the theory that we have learned in the last few lectures. So the question was, the volume flow rate of metal into a mold is 0.01 cubic meters per minute. The top of the sprue has a diameter of 20 millimeters and its length is also 20 millimeters. What we're trying to find out is the cross-sectional area at the exit of the sprue that will allow the flow of material without aspiration. So before we start solving the question, two important considerations. First, in order to prevent aspiration, we need to ensure that the flow rate is constant along the sprue from point one to point two, and the pressure at any point along the sprue is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Let us use uh, subscripts one and two for the top and the bottom of the sprue respect respectively. And the first thing that we need to do is to convert the volume flow rate from cubic meters per minute to cubic meters per second. Now we can apply the Bernoulli theorem to calculate the velocity at the exit of the sprue. Again, this theorem can be further simplified if we assume that we have no frictional losses along the sprue and that the pressure at any point along the sprue is atmospheric pressure. If we do that, we can simplify this Bernoulli theorem and obtain this simplified equation. Now, in considering that the cross-sectional area at point one, at the entrance of the sprue, is much, much larger than the cross-sectional area at the exit of the sprue, then we can assume that the velocity at point one is much, much lower than at point two and equal to zero. And this is just virtually, okay? If we do that, then we can calculate the velocity at point two um, at the exit of the sprue, which is equal to 0 0.6264 meters per second. So now we know the velocity of the metal at the exit of the sprue, and this is the velocity that the flow must meet in order to prevent aspiration. Now, what we need to calculate is the cross-sectional area at point two. So at this point, now that we know the velocity and we know that the volume flow rate is constant from point one to point two, we apply the law of mass continuity. And what this law states is that the flow rate is constant and can be calculated at any point, including point one and point two, as the cross-sectional area of the sprue at that point times the velocity at that point. Because we already know the velocity at point two, and because the volume flow rate is constant, we can now calculate the cross-sectional area at the exit of the sprue. And the cross-sectional area that the sprue must have in order to prevent aspiration is equal to 2.67 times 10 to the minus four meters squared. So this is a good example of how can we use the Bernoulli theorem and the law of mass continuity to design separate sprues in order to prevent aspiration of either solid particles or gases. And this is extremely important in order to avoid the generation of defects such as porosity that can be very detrimental to the mechanical performance of our casted parts. Again, many thanks for listening and I will see you on Tuesday.